last year, one of the, I thought one of the most successful things to come out of racing in a long time was the Citroen C1s. I was there at Pembrey for their inaugural four hour race and I thought, this is fantastic. This is budget racing as it should be. And we're now gonna have a chat with Phil and exactly what their plans are for 2018 and the, to see what interest has been generated in this championship. Now, Phil, you, from those inaugural meetings last year, could you envisage where you're going with this? Not really, no. Um, it's gone beyond anybody's expectations of what could actually be. And I think that's probably because nobody's ever done that before. Um, it's grown at such a phenomenal rate. Uh, it's quicker than anything has ever grown in the past. Um, so, you know, from us going at a standing start as to a Pembury, as you say, having like 16 or 17 cars on the grid, we were sort of thinking this year we might be able to think of having 25 or maybe even 30. But now we actually get here and the entries are in, we're sort of looking at a minimum of 43. If you're putting 43 cars on the grid like that, then how how much how much kit have you sold for these cars to, for the amount of cars to be built then? Well, we're actually now way way above that in numbers of cars that the parts have been sold for. We we've, we've supplied enough parts to build 108 cars. Okay, so that's just crazy. It's unbelievable. We we got to 20, 25 sometime last year and thought, yeah, it's got to be it now. We can't keep on selling them. But it's kept on going and kept on going and you keep on getting two or three or four orders a week. And it's like, where's all this coming from? Um, but it's just hit that sweet spot. And you just missed the, what the time at the age of the cars, what you could buy them for, and the fact that they, there's so little to add to them to make them go racing. Is that just seems to be in that, that magic formula? I think that's part of it. A big part is cost, yes. um, and, and that has come about by the cars being available in abundance, parts being available for them very easily through all the motor trade. Um, the, those are all low cost as well. Everything falls into low cost motorsport. That's all relative, of course, yes, of course. but it's low cost motorsport. Um, so, when you look at these cars, what kind of price are you thinking you can put a car on the grid for then? Well, this car that we're standing in front of here, uh, I've just finished building it. This car cost, built it myself, three and a half grand including buying the car. That's quite incredible, isn't it? Last year, um, you were all invited to do the Spa. I mean, some of the guys you must have been absolutely loving that. Without a doubt, Spa is the, a bit of a jewel in the crown. Uh, fortunately, I've raced over it in Spa doing the 24-hour race with the two CVs for the last sort of 17 years. Yeah. Um, so I know all the people over there, got all the contacts, and very, very fortunately, they accepted my proposal to take the C1 over. Um, and, with, and with their support, they've now started a C1 championship of, of their own. Um, and who knows where we'll be with the C1s overall. Phil, I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, I've been invited to help build a car and I'm very, very, very tempted. So thanks for talking to us and all the very best for the championship for this season. Thank you very much. Thank We're you. looking forward to it. Well, so are we. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.